What's up gamers? If you guys are Men 15 fans, then you guys know that E3 went down uh, this week. We had a couple of press conferences. A lot of guys have been posting videos talking about the new Madden, what we saw at E3, and kind of giving a recap. And I just haven't been able to do that. I've been kind of trying to gather all the information I could about the game before I put out a review. And I wanted to do this uh, in a couple of different videos because I want you guys to get the main point of every single video. So you're going to be seeing clips from some gameplay uh, that I've been getting here. But what I want to do uh, first and foremost is talk about the presentation uh, in the first video and we're going to get in talking about all the intri intricate details and stuff like that as the week goes on because this is E3 week but again I just want to kind of focus on today simply the press conference that EA gave uh, the two or three minute little audio uh, that they gave and I want to give you guys my take on that there will be a link in the description below that you can check out the actual video on Pasta Padre site Pasta Padre as you guys don't know is a, a as a gaming site, he reviews sports games, and I think he actually reviews others than that. But his main uh, draw is sports games, and so he did a review of his uh, Madden 15. He posted a little blog on it, so you guys can check that out. I'll leave a link to his website in the description. But uh, one of the things that I saw as far as E3 went was I, I was really happy with was that Madden did not do any kind of self-promotion. It was a lot of maintenance type of stuff, which I think is something that we need to see more of. Uh, you saw a lot of different things as far as content, but basically what they were doing was over and over they were reiterating, we are not adding in new features, we are we are fine-tuning what we already have in the terms of defense. They've added a lot of new features to help improve defense, but they're not adding in new game modes, they're not adding in you know new... Uh, you know, new everything. It's it, it's more of simply fine tuning what they have. A lot of good content from defense. And guys, I'm telling you right now, I am so excited for this game because defense has always been my interest in football. And I can't wait to get started. I can't wait to take a look at the game. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to quickly mention of things that we're going to talk about. But they talked about the tackle cone, enhanced player emotions, new presentation cam uh, cameras. Pass rushing abilities, player locks on defense, all sorts of different things like that. Different types of tackling animations, different types of interception animations, all kinds of different animations in this game. And I'm really excited to get started in August. Uh, but you guys know we're going to be doing it big here for the whole set rest of the summer, preparing you for Madden 25. We're going to be or for Madden 15. We're going to be going over with Madden 25 and intricating all the little details about every single Madden that carries over. We're going to be talking about how to read the defense. We're going to be talking about how to put a scheme together. We're going to be talking about how to enhance your user control. All sorts of this leading up to Madden 15. And I'm going to call the series, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it just yet, but I think it's going to be something like Road to Madden 14 or Road to you know 2015 or something like that. But uh, be on the lookout for that and be on the lookout for more reviews about this E3 press conference. I'm going to talk a lot more in detail about these specific things, but I really wanted to quickly just highlight that E3 for EA Sports, I believe, was a huge success for Madden because they did not focus on kind of going, oh, we're going to change the world, but they simply just presented their gameplay, they presented their uh, conference, and they just gave a quick little rundown, and I thought it was very much deserved for the fans to finally see EA Sports humbled before the crowd and showing just a simple game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary. Follow me on Twitter, at MadTips365, and we'll talk to you guys later.